control panels to military use. In order to test a unit of an airborne computer, the technician merely selects the proper control panel. He then plugs the units into the test equipment and the signal lights tell him whether the units are working or not. This puts testing computer units in the same class as testing light bulbs. Today, the airborne computer is no longer a theory, nor an experiment. It's a fact, tested, functioning, practical, and restricted. It has gone into production under the label BRAIN, bombing, radar, navigation equipment. A new plant is being rushed to completion in Owego, New York, to boost its output. Here is a scale model of a B-52, showing the relative locations of brain equipment. The rest of the system, computers, periscope, and screen, are designed to take up a minimum of space and to give a maximum of use. Computers have taken wing. Hey, Phil. I got some crosshair jitter in both azimuth and elevation. Would you pull the AR-5 and replace it with a spare? Sure, Dan. Give me a minute. It'll only be a second more. Yeah, I think I got it now. Okay, the amplifier's replaced. How's the jitter? Settle down. Yeah, it's okay now. Thanks, Phil. And as long as we're on guard, as long as we're ready to look ahead and move ahead, the future of America is secure. <laughs>